getting ready to start here at Las Vegas. We have... I've been really busy as of late. Las Vegas was supposed to go up last weekend, but I got too busy. We're finally going to get it underway for this weekend here. Um, Luke Martin has the pole for this race, and he's surrounded by all, a lot of Mace cars here. As we get ready to go set here for racing at Las Vegas, here we go. Green flag is in the air for Las Vegas. Tight racing here in the middle here, but this is a new driver for this weekend here. Sky Commons replacing Kyle Collins, who's been driving this car for most of this time for this season. There's a wreck further behind him there. Andreas Allen went around right there. And, oh boy, is it all going to be good there? I don't, yep, it was just them guys there. Vince Allen. V Vince Allen. Um, Andreas Allen. The two Allens there. Jordan Fisher also had a piece of that there. But also, Luke Martin led it back to start finish line. Look at that. All three Courtweiser cars right there up in the mix. And also, you got Sky Commons, like I was talking about, replacing Kyle Collins for this season. Um, this is actually one of the first few times, I think, that the nine car for Courtweiser Racing has actually been inside the top ten. But um, is caution out? No, it is not. The caution did not even come out for that. And Luke Martin... Jeff James lead it there, and there's another big wreck further behind him there. They're wrecking huge this time. Further back, that's Noah Hart, Sean Galligan, and everyone in behind there. That's Cooper Simon, Chris Louvier, Jeffrey Lynn, his final race for Vent, uh, for Vent uh, like Allen family team. Um, Jacob Hart is in it. Eric Burton is in this one here. This is a huge wreck here. Uh, Charles Sanford, Nick Perkles, he was just inside the top three there. Um, Richard Johnson. This was a huge one on the front straightaway. Okay, so these guys right here were racing really, really hard. The two Mace cars of Vince and Nick kind of go really high. Nick tries to miss Vince, clips Vince there, and Jordan Fisher bounces off Nick and Mace, and then there's Vince Allen spinning down the inside, and also Andreas Allen. Um, the, so the two Allens there just get together and wreck the inside, and also the, does Jordan Fisher. However, this that that, that uh, however that was not what brought out the caution. Nick Perkles here. We're gonna slow mo it here. Gets hit by Chris Louvier down into Rockingham winner Jake Bassinger, and Bassinger is gonna save it. Louvier wrecks right here. Um, actually, I think Louvier keeps it going. Maybe nope. There's James Sorafox, Sky Collins, who was having a good run here. So two core wiser cars getting in this one here. Um, there's Sean Galligan, Eric Burton. There's Jeffrey Lynn, his final race for the Allen family team. Brandon McGuirt will step in for the next race. Jacob Hart, Ryan Acosta. There's Cooper Siron. Um, Stephen Jenkins there. He's second in the point standings. Um, is Stephen right there for the Raven West team right there. There's only two Raven West cars running full time for this season. Sean Perkins, Michael White, um, Acosta, we don't, we don't know if he'll stick around or not. We do not know if Acosta will be around or not. There's Stephen Pollard the third, James Shelley back here as, as well as in it. Um, but yeah, big wreck here. On board, Nick Perkles who came second at Rockingham. On board, four-time winner here at Las Vegas, Nick Mace. Getting ready to go back green. Some guys did not pit. Luke Martin did not pit. Jeff James did not pit. Jordan Davis didn't pit. DJ Curtis didn't pit. And basically, o Gomez in the MSRP car, who barely got into this field. The only reason he got in was because um, the 66 team of right there of the arc racing team withdrew their position there and basically Gomez somehow slid in the field and he right now is fifth because he stayed out there but right now there was two um Corwaiser cars taken out in that last wreck right there that was um um 
not Kyle Collins, but um, Sky Commons and um, Nick Perkley's there. But now it's Luke Martin and Daytona 500 winner Jeff James leading the way here. By lap number 12 here, Ryan Acosta, the driver, we do not even know if he'll continue racing or not because he has not been active in the series. He's not been wanting to be in the series here. He's kind of been in and out here. Um, Ryan Acosta, we don't know if he'll stay around to drive in the series because he's not really interested in racing anymore. Um, Ryan Acosta, he may even step out of that race car just due to not wanting to be in the series here. Um, but Acosta blows up here on lap 12. One driver who has really been falling off, falling off since um, the green flag here after a little bit of a few laps ran under green here. Turns out that getting tires were probably the better idea here, I would suppose. Martin has already dropped outside the top 10. Jordan Davis, however, is doing pretty good on old tires. He holds the lead right now over M.O. White and Kornweiser Racing Car and Daytona 500 winner of Jeff James. This pack has been running really, really close and really um, tight together here as the Mountain Dew cars are running right up here in this pack of Kavanov and Newman. Turner up here in this pack as well. Malik Nevins, Nick Mace. Nick Mace is a four-time winner here at Las Vegas. He's won here four times before. And so I wouldn't be surprised if Nick Mace comes down to it and is a big threat to win here later on the going here. Malik Nevins, a big-time winner here. Not a big-time winner, but big-time um, veteran. Basically, Ogomez is probably the biggest shock out of anybody that is up here in this pack. This is almost like a super speedway-type race. And basically, oh, he's keeping up. Remember, if, if you watched the old um, Arkansas Elite Series races, this is X Best Ever X. He used to race in the username category of Arkansas Elite Series way back in the day in Season 1 and 2. But Cooper Siron in that number 77, um, he's kind of had on and off um, days here. Cooper, he, I think he kind of had a bad speed weeks over in Daytona, but he had a good speed weeks at Rockingham. But now another bad one here at um, Las Vegas. There we go. There goes Siron up in a turner. And the caution flag waves because of Cooper Siron here. And, oh boy, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh boy, that was a dangerous driver side angle there. But Cooper Siron keeps it going. Caution flag is out. As we end up getting back to the restart here, Two Mace cars up here are leading it with Jordan Davis and Nick Mace. And down low comes Luke Martin in that number six. Corweiser, silver bullet there. Just charging his way forward. Martin won here way back in season three. So Martin, I mean, he's got experience of winning here. And he's really good when it comes to Las Vegas. So Martin, the silver bullet, comes from outside the top ten. Now just driving right past both the Mace cars. DJ Curtis, he won the Sprint Unlimited, which was basically, basically called the Budweiser Shootout over in Daytona. Um, DJ Curtis right now runs in third, and CBM has not really been the best cars um, all, all season, really, since um, Daytona 500. But um, what better way to start it off um, getting back on the right track for here, Las Vegas. This is really early in the season, and you want to get yourself back in the game early. You do not want to do a, You do not want to have a terrible first ten races. You don't want to have an, a terrible start to your season. You want to try and start it off right. And Curtis, he's stepping in the right. He's stepping in the. Uh, he's stepping in the right direction here. One driver running really good up here in this pack is Emma White, and using some of the driving over there from the light series. But Emma White moving her way up here, racing up here with the boys here today at Las Vegas. Emma's kind of struggled so far this season to really do well, but she's been getting that experience and running up here with the boys here today. But I don't know if she'll be able to hold them off here because Martin is one of the most aggressive drivers up here in this pack. Um, everyone up here are is really aggressive and goes for wins like on a daily basis. And Emma White is up here beating and banging with these guys. For the top spot, I can't be any happier for Basilio Gomez seeing one of the old drivers way back late ago. Like it's been it's been years since I've seen Basilio Gomez in a race car, and Basilio Gomez driving for one of the underfundedest cars out here inside the top ten. Sora Fox with no rear deck to that car right there. Well, he's got a deck, but I mean the back end is crushed. Andreas Allen, who wrecked early in the race, got spun around. 
right there in that number 43 car there. Um, he's up here in this lead pack as well. Perkins has really struggled this season. I mean, he did get involved in that incident um, that brought out the first caution. But Sean Perkins, he is really low in the points. He's 38th in the point standings. And you got to wonder if Sean Perkins is um, just not being able to find the right luck for this season or something. He's just had nothing but very, very bad luck. By lap 42, Nick Mace is our leader, and he would catch the lap traffic here. It's going to be a wonder how these drivers play it out. Point leader Jake Bassinger is stuck way up high here, and they're really beating a bang in here close. Dom Katz, Chris Louvier, they're going to try and get around them here. Two Mace Enterprises cars lead the way. Andreas Allen, who spun around early in the race, up here in third, moves Jordan Davis out of the way. Now Nick Mace is all over the lap car of Cody Lamas. Skates up the racetrack. Lamas is in the way. Andres Allen leads the first lap for his 2015 season. That was first lap led for Allen all year. And he goes right by on there. I wonder how these lap cars are still going to do here. Nick Mace is still held up by Cody Lamas. And the lap traffic is what's really going to play a role here. Meanwhile, coming back around to Tate, lap 47, as the field finally got past the lap cars, Luke Martin is your race leader. Harry Cavanaugh, runner-up for the championship last season, second place. Malik Nevis is in third. James Orofox is in fourth. Ashley Mace runs in another top five finish in a row here. Ashley Mace is going to have two good, a row, two good finishes in a row here. Um, probably the best Mace car so far this season. DJ Curtis runs in seventh. 7th is Jordan, or DJ Curtis is 6th, 7th is Jordan Newman, 8th Andres Allen, Ninth is Jordan Davis, 10th round out the top 10 Emma White, 11th for a great run for base Leo Gomez, 12th Noah Hart, another solid finish, 13th Jeff James, 14th Nick Mays, 15th Jake Bassinger, and um, 16th Vince Allen, 17th you gotta go all the way back to Dylan Young, but the lead pack is basically the top 16. Fast forward 10 laps later, on lap 57, the cars are kind of spreading out here. The, car, the faster cars are kind of pulling away here. Luke Martin still leads over Jordan Davis now with DJ Curtis in third. Fourth is Jeff James, and then fifth is Nick Mace. So the top five kind of break away here. So you got a Corweiser car, a Mace car, a CBM car. Uh, another Corweiser car, and then also Nick Mace. But we got pit stops now. All of a sudden, Nick Mace court brings it in with Matt DeLeo, Sean Perkins, Trent Togger, and Cody Lamas, a lap car, Vince Allen, and um, Andres Allen, I mean, and Chris, Lu uh, Chris Louvier is also in. However, James Shelley also would cut a tire down right here as pit stops are going underway. A right front gave out on James Shelley there. Just blew right on the trioval here while everyone was making pit stops. James Shelley, lucky he did not wreck the car there. But Shelley would come back around and get that all fixed out and would return back to the racetrack. By lap 66, the FBR car of Noah Hart running a good solid finish here would blow up right here just shy of the finish there. And as number 47, Dairy Queen Toyota would have to go to the garage. Don't ask, but somehow... Dylan Young is our race leader, and we think that he has to pit before the end of this race. He is in first, second place. You can see right here that right here was sixth placeman, DJ Curtis. He is sixth place in a lap down. Then it is Jeff James right here. We think that was recycled to the leaders there, but second placeman right now is right here, Jesse Turner. He has not pitted either, and Michael White there. So they're doing an amazing job here to save that much fuel there. Um, yeah. And also the Chevrolet of Jordan Fisher, he has yet to pit as well. He has been in a lot of tr drama this race so far. He was in a lot of incidents there, but he's up here as well. And Stephen Pollard III, another Ford up here saving gas here. I, I'm pretty sure these guys have to pit another time, but they're staying out. I don't know why. I'm, I think they're hoping for a caution so it's just them five on the lead lap there. And then the um, sixth placeman right back here, um, way back here, well, sixth placeman is right here of Jeff James, and seventh is DJ Curtis. Look at, look at this here. Jeff James just drove it down in there. He is the leading driver that is on 
um, new tires and a new tank of fuel here. Jeff James is going to catch Dylan Young here and it's going to blow right by him here onto the inside here. Jeff James handled lap traffic perfectly while DJ Curtis has kind of struggled here. But that's the two main leading guys with um, new gas here. And a caution flag is out. A caution flag is out. James Shelley's got troubles. And oh my goodness, it's going to be what exactly them five guys wanted. James Shelley's wrecked. James Shelley wrecked in turn one. We're hearing that whatever was wrong with his car earlier, something in the suspension broke. He went heading straight for the wall and hit it and spun out around. And James Shelley, his day is done. He smacked that wall entirely hard. He just, I don't even know what happened. The car just broke, shot straight to the wall while through the tri-oval, just like he did last time. But it, it's not, it, he went straight head on into the wall. It wasn't quite at the very end of the Troy Oval. It was right in the middle of the Troy Oval this time. And he just smacked that wall and around he went. And James Shelley is our reason for our caution. And this is going to be a saving grace for some guys that were trying to save it to the end all the way. Like um, Stephen Potter the third here. Well, that caution right there is going to mess up the entire game. And exactly what them five guys wanted here. Jordan Davis, Nick Mace, um, James Orofox, Andreas Allen... Um, Emma White, Vince Allen, um, <clears throat> Henry Kavanov, Ashley Mace, um, Base Leo Gomez, Hunter Davis, Trek Targer, Matt DeLeo, Malik Nevins. That is not what any of them guys needed. They wanted it, that. They wanted the thing to cycle out. But since Jeff James raced his way back onto the lead lap, um, he was able to stay out, and he is now the new race leader. And also second placeman. Where is second placement? There it is right there. DJ Curtis. He, I guess he also raced his way back on the lead lap as well. I did not know DJ Curtis raced his way back on the lead lap. And we got lap cars in the way. That's Charles Jackson from Blue Flare Motorsports. He's in the way and everyone's trying to scatter past him. Boy, oh boy. Here comes a fast forward on the top. Right there, Michael White. Now it's just all these six guys here. Um, since right here... Um, the 88 and the 19 did race their way back on the lead lap here. And so it is um, Jeff James, Michael White, DJ Curtis, Dylan Young, Jordan Fisher, and Stephen Pollard III, the only guys on the lead lap here. As the way things are going, Michael White may get his first top 10 finish of the entire season right now. And he, he looks good to get a top 10, but he's trying to hold off Dylan Young for a second. And Michael White has kind of not had the best car all race. He's kind of really struggled, but he's going to use Dom Katz as a little pick here to hold up Dylan Young. This might be the third race in a row for the 2015 season that a Kornweiser and a Turner Fenway car go 1-2. If you don't believe me when I say Jeff James has a blistering fast race car, you are fooling yourself. He had, he had, to, he had to start behind 15 drivers that were only one lap down and he is still passing drivers he's done past um, 12 drivers there and he just passed a 13th there blew right by, past Andreas Allen and is now looking to go past Nick Mace and Jordan Davis these are the last guys that are this is the first guy that's only one lap down is Davis but rounding the turn Jeff James is going to be the first driver to get two or more wins of 2015 Jeff James for Corweiser wins at Las Vegas and there was a wreck here at the start finish line with Charles Jackson, I think. But Jeff James. Wow. Boy, you put him in a fast race car and he shows out. Jeff James. I mean, he drove his way back on the lead lap when he was a lap down. And, well, he drove away from everyone that made the gamble there. The guys that really made the gamble to, um to pretty much get where they got in the finishing results here. Michael White, he was in this as well. He was involved in that. We got to get a replay. Ashley Mace had this same exact problem that James Shelley did. The car just broke right here. Goes up in the wall, bam, hits the wall right there. There's James, uh, Sean Harpool there. And you saw Michael White also get a piece there. And that's exactly what happened to bring out our final caution of the day. And Michael White's good top two finish there. It was going to actually be the third weekend in a row for 2015 season. That it was a Turner Fenway and also a Coralizer car that would end up being 
in the top two, but it wasn't going to be right there. And second placement actually went to, I think, Dylan Young. Here's what happened right here as well to finish off what happened. There's DJ Curtis and Michael White. They got a piece of that, what, what happened there. And then Dylan Young and Stephen Clark III missed it. So they kept on going. And um, further back, Jordan Fisher missed it. So he was going to get, no matter what, I think he was going to get just um, fourth place here. But Stephen Pollard the third and um, Dylan Young here came back around. And it was going to be Stephen Pollard the third getting second place here. Stephen Pollard the third, one of the middle class race teams here for Raven West Motorsports here, gets a top five finish. How about that? That's the third straight week in a row that Raven West at least had one car inside the top ten.